Well, hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a commercial door closure, closer, I should say, to help the door have some closure. <laughs> Anyways, this is just a simple door shock, basically what you would see on top of a door in any of these configurations. And we're gonna be installing it on this door right here. Now, the reason you have these is so your door will automatically close by itself or will swing open so fast. Um, especially on commercial application, you don't want your door to just be flapping open for people walking through. So this will help shock absorb that uh, in all ways, opening and closing. So let's open it up. Let's try to make this video as quick as possible. That way, if you're trying to do this for yourself, you'll know how without having to waste too much time. So open the box. Inside the box, you're gonna find directions, which I will hopefully give you some of that. You're going to get the arms that go on top of the door shock itself. You're gonna have the door shock system itself. One of these little caps that go on the bottom to finish off the look of it. You're gonna get the place, the piece that the arm goes to on top. And then you're gonna get a bag of hardware. So in the directions you're gonna find, so right here, I'm just gonna show you that you want to go down three inches from the first screw there. Top screw over, you can see that line with the arrow from there to there, that's gonna be three inches. So from there to there, we're going to drop this down three inches. So bring it over six and drop it down three. And then for the B location right here to put the, the arm that holds the, the bracket that holds the arm. It'll make sense, let's get to it and I'll show you as we go. But this from here to here, the B location, is going to be seven and three quarters. So that first screw hole will be seven and three quarters. I'll mark on the door and it'll make more sense. So anyways, let's get to it. So I'm gonna mark over on the doors real quick and I'll be right back with you. Bringing it in close, you're gonna see my pencil marks. So this is the three inches where it's dropping down. Let me get my finger out of the way so it focuses. Focus, there we go. So three inches down. And then this is going to be six and an eighth from the edge of the door to here. That's what they're recommending for the 120 degree open. And then for the plate that goes up here that the arm attached to, they want six and three quarters. So what we've done here is we measure from here over. So basically from the door frame over to six and three quarters. And then from here, six and an eighth is what they wanted and three inches down. And so now we can take our shock which is in this bag right here. <clears throat> and we're gonna want the adjustable side. So this side has these little screws on the side. This will tension it according to how much pressure you want the door to, how fast you want it to close and how slow you want it to close or how fast you want it to close. So this is going to go the direction of the doorknob. And so when we stick this up on here, we're gonna stick on those lines and that marks right there. And we want this shock side, the side that is adjustable to go to that side. Now, as far as I know, yeah, so see how this is off center? When you put your thing up there to mark it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have it in the correct direction, because if you don't, when you flip it, this will be more that way. So your adjustable side, there's a one and two there. It goes towards the handle side. So we're gonna stick this up there, and then we're gonna take our pencil and mark through the holes, like so. And that'll tell us where to drill for the screws. So let's take this. We're gonna take it right, put it up there on our mark, the three inch mark and the six and the eighth mark. Do a little mark there, mark there, and mark there. And we'll come back and we can drill the holes to fit our screws. I'll show you how to do that real quick too. But let's go back to this one, that way we can explain it better. <clears throat> so you see the three inches down, right here is on this side. And then our A measurement is right here. So the A dimension A, we want it to go to the 120 degree open. So we're gonna go six and an eighth. And then our dimension B, which is right here from the hinge to the first screw on that plate that we're talking about is seven and three quarters. That's how we found our measurements, those two right there. And if you wanna change it to 100 degree open, then those will be your measurements or 180 degree where it opens really far then five and three quarters and four and an eighth. But we're going to do 120 degree open. So we're gonna use these two numbers for A and B, A and B. So let's go uh, drill the holes on that door now. The bag of hardware that we have has these screws here. Let me pick them out here. There's one, two, three, and four. These ones have a little bevel on the top here. 
which seats nicely in that little bevel there. So it fits nice and flush on it. So those four go to this. Now in order to, steal, to drill a hole in a steel door, you're gonna need a drill bit. If there's a wooden door, you might get away with not drilling a pre-drill hole, but I would recommend it still. So I'm gonna find a drill bit like this one that is the same size as the shaft. And so you can see the threads on the outside here, but inside the groove there, get closer. We want the drill bit to not be any smaller or any bigger than the inside diameter of that thread there. So that size drill bit will be perfect for putting these in. But in order to start the holes and make sure the holes are in the right place, I'm gonna start with a smaller drill bit like this one. <clears throat> that way it's easier to get the pilot hole drilled. You can even take a, a punch and punch a little dent basically in the metal and you can take a drill bit and it'll stay in that little dent and it'll drill a perfect hole. So we're gonna use this drill bit first to drill the holes where I had, where I marked up there on the door. Drill those and then we'll re-drill it with these again, make them bigger, and then we can pass in these screws through the holes. So let's go drill those holes real quick. Now you wanna be careful when you're drilling holes that when you plunge through, you don't put a lot of pressure on it because if you just like drill super fast and hard and you're pushing real hard and when you pop through, you can dent the other side of the door or even drill through it if you're not careful. So just make sure when you get ready to go through that first layer of steel, just slow down and just let it work itself through. That way you don't punch a hole in the other side of the door or make a dent because that would not be fun either. So now I'm gonna put the bigger drill bit in and re-drill those holes to really fit these screws a little bit better. Now that those are drilled, we can take our shock and uh, just got a little impact here with the Phillips on it. We can stick our screw on the end here. Make sure we have this orientated the right direction, adjustable to the side, and then stick our screws in. Next step, we're gonna mount the plate that the arm attaches to. This plate is gonna go on the top of the door frame up here where that line is, where we measured over that six and three quarters. So let me bring you in close so you can see what we're doing here. We're gonna take this bracket and put that screw right where my finger's pointing here on that line. And then we're going to line it to where it doesn't go past so we don't want it hanging out here we don't want it over here we want it right on that line basically so we're going to put it right to where it doesn't go into the door there but doesn't mess up with our seals either so put on the line and we're going to mark the holes just like we did for the um the door shock itself with a pencil and we'll come back and drill those holes and then we'll put the screws in so let's do that okay when you're drilling anything with metal you're going to want to put glasses on especially when it's above your head we're gonna switch back to the little drill bit so it's easy to drill a hole. And then we'll use this to make the bigger hole. Little drill bit done. And a little bigger bit. Okay, now in your packet of hardware, you're gonna find four screws that look similar to the ones I was just showing you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Except for instead of having a bevel on the back, it just has a flat. So we're gonna use those. We're gonna stick this with the nub facing down and these screws will go up through there and they'll sit nice and flush on the bottom. So let's put those on. Okay, next step, take out the arm here in the blue little packaging. And we're gonna have to take off this piece. We're gonna be using this piece. 
This piece is what re is replaced with that piece we just installed. So as we'll screw in the back, take that off, set it to the side. And then we're going to open this up a bit. See how it's threaded? This arm, this piece goes all the way down inside here. So you can spin it out quite a ways. We're gonna wanna be able to reach from our shock over to our new bracket that we installed there. This one's taking a little bit to unscrew. So I'll unscrew that and then I'll show you how to install it. On the top of the door shock, well, on the bottom as well, because it's universal, this one can flip the other way if your door is swinging the other direction. Uh, and so there's a little square here and a square on top. This star is also two squares. You can see there's a square there, a square there, whatever direction you need to go. And so this is going to slide on the top of this into its square slot parallel with the door. And then this arm that I'm unscrewing here it's going to swing back and attach to that. So I'll let you watch me do that from this bucket over here. So this will press fit on, but then there's also a screw that holds it down so it doesn't come off. So but we'll put it on now and then we'll adjust it to where it fits. And then we'll get it all done. So slide it on here. Door. And then swing this back. like so. Let's adjust it out a wee bit more. And then there's a little nut on here which will lock it into place. So I'll screw that nut in there until it hits the bar. And once you get that nut tightened down, you can take your packet of hardware here, and inside of it is going to be one of these, a little nut with blue Loctite on it, and then a washer. And that's going to go to hold that bar onto that bracket. So we'll take this and the washer. Put it on there. And then there's a screw that holds uh, the top bar to, there's a washer here, that holds that down, the bar down to the shock itself. So that goes on top. The last step will be this little piece right here, which is the cover for the bottom part that's not being used of that shock. So all this does is clip on the bottom of your shock like so, and you are complete. Now the adjustments on it, like I said, there's number one and number two, you can use your manual for that. And that will tell you how fast and how hard the door will close or open. So usually the door just swing there, but now that it has a shock on it, it'll close itself. So that's pretty cool. One more time, just for fun. Very nice. Anyways, that is how you install a door opener. One of these babies. You can get this in different colors, of course, and different sizes. This is one that is the commercial door opener closer from, um, from Home Depot, but you can buy nicer ones. You can buy cheaper ones too, but this one's been fairly reliable for me. So hopefully you can understand all the directions that I put in the video of how to install one of those. It's pretty simple. Just a little bit of measuring, a little bit of drilling, and a little bit of a little bit of thinking, but not too bad. So anyways, hope you enjoyed and I hope you get to install one of those for yourself and uh, have a good one. Don't forget to leave a comment in the description in the comments below. Look at the descriptions below and uh, have a good one. We'll see you later. God bless.